Something naughty. Something chocolatey. Man force chocolate flavored condoms. Try something new. I am Dr. Karnal Wadia. I am a psychosexologist. If for some reason the testes are not able to produce the required amount, the normal amount of testosterone, the situation or the disease is called hypogonadism. It's partly a reality and partly a myth. It is a reality because sometimes like menopause, uh, this is called male uh, menopause, in males also because of the levels of testosterone going down, there are certain features which appear like we have in women. But uh, the fact is that the fall of hormones is so gradual that by and large it is compensated by the technique or the experience of the male. As a person grows in age, there are certain other associated diseases, the change in lifestyle, the stress. The, the actual culprits are they, and truly speaking, not the sexual hormone that is the testosterone. It can be right uh, since the birth. Even uh, uh, during the time the child is in a mother's womb, we call it fetus, there can be certain uh, abnormalities which can finally lead to hypogonadism. Like if there are more than uh, one sec X chromosomes as against only one Y chromosome, we call it Klinefelter syndrome. There also there is a situation called hypogonadism. We carry out uh, a blood test which shows us the levels of testosterone. Testosterone can be tested as total testosterone or they can be tested as free testosterone. When we give therapy or when we give treatment for testosterone, that is the time sometimes there is a strain on the heart. But otherwise, testosterone per se do not cause any problem to the heart. Easy fatigability, his uh, level of concentration goes down, he feels uh, a little uncomfortable and restless. It has been seen that people with lower levels of testosterone suffer from osteopenia, which is primarily a disease of bones. These are the problems which uh, tend to occur if the problem, if the, the, if the hypogonadism is not treated. There are a whole lot of people who tend to blame hormones for, uh, uh, for, the, for the lack of sexual activities as they grow in years, which is not right. There may be other problems associated with it which may cause uh, uh, the lower uh, libido, lower desire and lower activities. But uh, by itself, hormone alone would never cause a situation like this. 